Well, how do that, chums? As I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be playing a little bit of No Man's Sky, but I'm also going to be delivering a little bit of news inside of No Man's Sky. I guess I am. That's why I've got Twitter in the background right now, people. So I'm just going to head on over. We're going to go debrief our frigates. And hopefully, they're going to be S-Class now. That'll be nice, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I've got my cup of tea to hand, people. Lovely Captain Steve Brew. Right, let's put that down. Let's get to the debriefing. First, let's go hit this one up. Chikapa! Here we are, Fleet Commander, Debrief Commander. Dilly dilly dee! And we don't know whether it's an S class just yet, people, any of you of us. No. We'll find out when we go and speak to my guy. Hey, <laughs> look at that, I can go invisible on my own freighter. Pretty cool. Well, he could still salute to Mondo, me. Hello there, buddy, with you with your awesome vision. Okay, cool. Let's have a look what missions you've got for me today. Then I'm going to do the three-star combat patrol mission, I guess. Oh, look, they're all S-class. They're all S-class people. Every single one of them is now S-class. So I no longer have to send my frigates out on missions for them to become S-class because they're already S-class. Nice one. Well, I'll go and hit a save then. Lovely jubbly. And I suppose we can get on over to the news, can't we? So if I go and... Where's the best news terminal to be hitting up? I mean, I could sit at my news desk, but... Hmm, yeah, I could sit at my news desk. You know what? I'll be right back at my news desk. See you in a moment. chick a And there I am at my news desk, people, on my actual freighter. But I need to press this button over here. Let's bring on in my news screen. chick a There we go. There it is, on screen, people. Right, so if I scroll on down, on my actual Twitter verse, people, I put out a post the other day. So I put here, you know, do you think there's going to be an emoji coming? Is it going to be dropped at just gone past midnight like it has been multiple times now? I honestly think Sean might be in another time zone, people, inside of the viewer verse. Yes, and I just wondered whether there might be an emoji this week. I mean, I don't think there will be, unless we actually see the depots start doing some twitchy type stuff. And whether we see Sean of the Murrays start going mental on the old Twitterverse, I don't know whether it's on the cards. Plus, we haven't seen sales happening yet, so none of the other signs have started to happen. So why do I think that they could be a chance on an emoji? The expedition's just ended. We normally get four expeditions in a year, and then a redux over the Christmas period. If Sean was to put out another expedition, he's going to have to do it fairly soon to make it the fourth expedition for that redux to carry over the actual festive period, unless they extend some of the reduxes, which is possible. You know, there might be three this year. I mean, normally we can say Hello Games follows patterns, but they haven't followed patterns year on year, so I don't think we can now say that there's patterns to their madness. There was a sale just earlier in the actual um, the month, at the start of the month and that was to raise some charity or at least it appears that it was to be to raise some charity for organizations that Sean of the Murray is quite up in backing people inside the viewer verse yes anyway we'll get to that in a moment I think anyway let's uh, let's scroll on down a bit further because what I've said here is these are the two emojis I would like to see for glass or the void well quite a lot of people got invested in this one let's just hit on up the old comments Let's have a quick look, see at some of the replies that we've got. So, yeah, pretty darn awesome stuffage. So, yeah, we've got spectres there being Halloween. Maybe it could be spectres and have, like, a bit of a ghosty feel to stuff. I guess. Yep. Oh, and also the echo camps. Maybe they might not just be echo camps anymore. Maybe there might be bigger buildings and bigger things to do with the Echo's world that we find using our echo locators. I quite like that idea. And I was wondering whether something like that might come to fruition. I mean, we have seen games like Starfield that brings in these random spawns of buildings. They are pretty cool. I mean, technically, we're already seeing that in No Man's Sky with the spatial anomaly detectors, where we find different random spatial anomalies in space. They could put a whole repertoire of them inside of those echo camps, rather than it just being an echo camp. Maybe we might see echoes of the past. We might see one of those glorious, lovely diplos or something appear, you know? Who freaking knows? It could spawn in a planet of yesteryear, couldn't it? You know, a whole sort of build planet might showcase with inside of, I don't know, the IGN first, people inside the viewers. There's all sorts they could do with it. So I really like like that idea. Spectres, I think, is a great call. Heck yes. Yeah, what else we got now? We got something else now that I can't overly read. That's quite a small screen for me right now, people. So yeah, oh actually I might be able to zoom it in a tad. Let's just zoom in a bit. There we are. 
There we go, that's a bit better. I guess. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, we've got this one that says Halloween season. I hope spooky stuff comes, pumpkin. Oh, and the new stations, data mine stuff. There's a few people that have actually said the same thing. I'm going to hit a little heart to that one. I must have missed that one. We make sense too, if you think about it. Heck yes. Emoji of choice. And it's like a little rubber ring. NPC rescue missions on derelict freighters with the option to recruit survivors and mission givers to settlements. It would be nice to have more control over who comes and frequents our settlements. As being an overseer to our settlements, I feel rather disconnected and despondent from being an overseer. There's not much overseeing happening. You might you might come to, in between a squabble between two residents, but that's about as far as it goes. It could be a little bit more in-depth, couldn't it? It really could. And Rain Drake says, ship customation, wishful thinking. Heck yes. Well, again, Starfield, one of the best elements, or one of the most enjoyment, enjoyable elements for me, is starship building. I haven't done a lot of it, but I thoroughly want to. I need to get my skills maxed out first. Crash Karoon is put ship customization as well, or a guest book for bases to replace comms balls. That's something that I've hoped for for a frickin' time and a half, heck yes. More save slots and the appearance modifier. Yeah, we've got three, but it'd be nice to have that up to six, especially with all these new auto phage sort of looks that we've got and other sort. Yes, I agree. We could do it maybe for six or so. Shared inventory, players filled loot boxes. Yeah, so it would be quite cool to have your own sort of chests that you can hide at bases or locations and put some stuff in it for would-be travellers, like a little treasure hunt. Yeah, that could tie in nicely to the outlaws sort of stuff, couldn't it, as well? Okay, Quintirian whiskey available at contraband and <laughs> items at outlaw stations. Yeah, that could be good. The only thing is, if you start mentioning alcohols or, or anything like that, it can push up the Peggy rating just for a mention. It's, yeah, unless it's got a use. No, that's, that's something. Craig Mark has put a link to future content over at No Man's Sky Resources. If you haven't checked out the No Man's Sky Resources website, it's a pretty good place. Go check it out. Cool. Maybe something like the Abyss update. Deeper oceans, rivers, waterfalls, and the creepy Leviathan-like Subnautica. Magda, I really hope one day we get to see large predatory fauna that actually makes us a little bit wary of our surroundings, like looking over our shoulders and stuff. You know, if I went to an alien planet, I'm fairly sure I'd be like, right, there could be something that might want to devour me here. I might not be top of the food chain here. You know, even going into our own oceans, inside of um, when I was in the Philippines, for example, I was quite wary of my surroundings. You know what I mean? It'd be nice to have that little bit of intrepidation. Okay, the emoji could be a space station, you know? It could. I mean, it's used like a satellite, but that's a space station, technically. So yeah, space stations, we, we did see space stations inside of the game files some time ago, an overhaul to them. So you could be onto something there. As I actually hit up, that's a good shout. Freaking is. I don't know whether that would be the whole emoji for the whole update. But you never know. They might deliver in something small towards the end of this month. Now, another reason why I think that we might see something towards the end of this month is because of the void and all the mentions of the realm of glass. It's quite creepy stuff. It kind of ties into the time of year, you know? So Halloween type update is what I'm thinking. Anyway, let's scroll on down. Daniel King. I know other space games have more flora variety than No Man's Sky. We need something like Planet Crafter in game. New ores in caves, treasures, and more minerals and crystal variety. Sick of seeing yellow and blue and red all the time. Fruit trees, fishing, more crafting, and tables. I totally agree with pretty much that whole freaking list. Heck yes. I really hope it's just more multiplayer based. Things you can really grind with with your friends. Well, I was really hoping, you know, there's new sort of dreadnought freighters and you've got different objectives like take out the engines, take out turrets, take out the uh, shields. I was really hoping that they might bring in a mission where all four of members of like a team are given those objectives each. You know, I might be given again engines one time and then the next time I go attack it, it might give me the shields. So it randoms it up a bit and you can go out and take those things out, you know, or take out the fighters and stuff. A nice Halloween update would be something like the desolate freighters, but on the planet, so desolate settlements. Yeah, that could be nice. I mean, they've got all the game mechanics to do that. The only thing is, is Switch still doesn't have settlements anyway. I'm just going to have another little swig of my tea before we press on. Good cup of tea, that. Just keep it under the desk. Got a warming plate under this little 905 desk. Yes, it's functional. 
Right, move on down. I would love more building items. I'm hitting the max build all the time. Yeah, that, that's been a bit of a grind, isn't it, for a while. This is this poster is from an account you muted. Okay, well, I haven't seen this one. Let's have a look who it was. John Cassily. Why the fudge have I muted John Cassily? I don't remember muting him. Okay, all right. I, I don't really unmute. There you go. Unmute. There you go. I went to do an Expedition 10 now, and that works on my PS4 again. Sorry, John Cassily. Somehow I muted you. I didn't mean to. Yeah, that's a bit random. Don't really mute anyone. Yeah, that's, that's strange. Must have pressed something I shouldn't have. Yeah, the wrong button. Okay, right, well, we've done all that. Now, I did mention before about that I think that the previous sales were to do with a... Um, oh, uh, to do with a, a, a you know, a, a, a charity-giving thing. Let me show you what I mean on that, people. Because there's been a few people that have put out there inside of the content creating circles that we might be due an update because of the sales. But I did do a shorts video it didn't get many views though that shorts video so i think a lot of people glossed over it and didn't really see it so here you go this is it on the 6th of october roughly when those sales started it says special effects do amazing work making games more accessible proceeds from hello games titles today go towards this great cause for one special day and when you look up one special day as an actual um, charity organization what it does is it, it brings gaming to those that struggle with gaming. Those with like, you know, reasonable adjustments that need, you know, hardware to be adapted so they can enjoy playing games. It's a real heart touching, heartwarming charity. So yeah, Hello Games has been back in that. So they put the games on sale to raise revenue to give to their favorite charity for the day. Uh, that's, that's why I think there were sales earlier this month. I honestly think that we're going to probably maybe see some sort of autumnal sale or like spooky holiday season sale. I was kind of thinking it would be happening now, the actual sale, because a lot of the schools are on half term right now here in the UK. And that's where Hello Games heralds from, the UK. So I figured they might try to capitalise on the actual, you know, the fall break for schools. And then that ties straight into the... Um, the Halloween as an event as well and they have done Halloweeny type updates in the past and Hello Games do like the creepy side of No Man's Sky it's spookier more sinister darker side and with everything pointing to the void and to the realm of glass honestly thought we'd be seeing something in that sort of vein coming you know into the verse right now so that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys inside of the Viewerverse. Do I think there's going to be some sort of update this week? I don't think the update is going to happen this week. I think we're going to wait until we see um, the actual Jetpack Trail, the new Jetpack Trail that's uh, unlocking now, the last one of this set. I think we've got a little way until that goes in. So let me just open the app and freaking find it then. So right now it's on 81%. They haven't slowed this down. They've let this run at its normal rate of speed. So I think once that hits about 90, 95%, I think we might see some sort of activity from Sean over on Twitter. Whether that's just sharing a lot more photos, doing a lot more stuff, I think that might happen. Um, after these jetpack trails, after these jetpack trails, we've got some decals. We've got decals that are coming in, okay? So there's already stuff already queued in there. After those decals are these three things which are like base parts, yeah, coolio. And then after those, we've got three more decals. Now, personally, I think these items are a little bit lame when it comes to the Quicksilver parts. And I was honestly thinking that they're gonna put out another expedition before it trips over to the next set of decals, okay? I mean, they could let the decals run and then we might not see something until the, like, the outlaw system decal gets to 90%, I don't know. But I'm thinking that these are more for the festive period. Like they might let these run over Christmas. You know why everybody else is running the Redux? Other players can run to get all this, these nine new items. That's what I was thinking. So I was kind of thinking we might get another update, another expedition that puts a pause on these nine items. And then these nine items see us through the months of December, January, and then they come back normally in February with some small update or another sort of expedition around that sort of time, February, March time. So uh, that's if we're going by patterns. But like I say, Hello Games hasn't really been following patterns all that much, to be honest, have they? 
And no, no, they have not. So it's a bit of an oddity, a bit of an oddity. Anyway, I mean, well, I'm going to end off now. But that's everything I've got. What you sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Am I right on this, do you feel? Do you, do you have the same gut feeling as me? Do you hope that they're following patterns? If you like this video, please hit a like. Please subscribe. Share it out on social media. Let's get the debate happening. Let's get a little bit of hype driven up. I'm hoping that we're going to see something before the end of October. I'm hoping we're just going to see something in line with Halloween. It might not happen, but if it doesn't happen, I think it's going to happen very shortly in the November sort of area. Otherwise, we're not going to have another expedition before the festive Christmas sort of break that Hello Games seem to like to take. I mean, something crazy could happen. Something really crazy could happen. Hello Games could just stick out their whole new IP. They could do an announcement trailer for that, and then that throws everything out the freaking window. So, yeah, I wouldn't set any of this as expectation. All of this has just been speculation based on my gut feeling, a logical sort of patterns with inside of the verse in previous years, and the way that the lore is going inside a game. So there's quite a lot of indicators that something might be happening around this sort of Halloween spooky-ish area of the year. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, take care, people. Bye, goodbye. And a goodbye again.